What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and I am the head of R&D here in FS Studio. And I'm really excited to talk about why we should start to think about the MetaQuest Pro, aka the Project Cambria, development tools and the millions of possibilities that we have for developing different applications for this upcoming mixed reality device. So what kind of things you should expect with the MetaQuest Pro? What about pricing? What is it gonna have? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So the MetaQuest Pro, which is rumor and leak in various social medias, to be made as new mixed reality device, which provides solutions that align better with enterprise and the business market. Similar to how Microsoft approached the HoloLens during the release, and recently we know that Magic Leap is doing something similar with the Magic Leap 2 AR glasses, which I still think I would say they're actually a mixed reality device, not a set of AR glasses. So the MetaQuest Pro, based on the leak images I've seen, looks like a lighter version of the MetaQuest 2, also a sleeker and also thinner frame. The device also provides the color pass through cameras, unlike the Quest 2, which are black and white. The idea of using color pass through for this device makes sense to me because Meta has been heavily focused on aiming to provide remote work solutions. So imagine having no physical monitors, anything on your desk and actually working remotely with your mixed reality device. Well, that's what Meta is trying to do with this supposedly device that is going to be releasing very soon. So what do you think the price will be for this device? Well, based on the rumors that I've seen, I've seen it from 1000 USD to 1500 USD, which makes sense to me because that's about half or less of the price of existing mixed reality devices such as the HoloLens 2 and also the Magic Leap 2. And also the cost of entry makes sense to me as well because the Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest 1 was a lot cheaper than the competitors on the standalone market. Now Meta is trying to do the same thing with the more of the business side where the price of the device is going to be cheaper to the competitor. So if you're thinking about developing with MetaQuest Pro, what type of tools are available to you today? And this is a part that I get really excited coming from a development background. So there's a couple options. You can use the native Oculus integration with Unity. This is also supported on Unreal. And this basically gives you all the features. You get a camera rig going. You can use locomotion. You can use grab interaction, there's a lot of functionality available in the Oculus integration. You can also use the XR toolkit, which basically allows you to do a cross-platform solution where you not only can target the Quest 1, the Quest 2, and the upcoming MetaQuest Pro, but you can also target other devices such as the Magic Leap 2, which is really great because you only code once and then you can deploy to multiple devices. Similar to that, you can also use MRTK, which is really powerful as well. I would say it's a little heavy on the development side because there's a lot to learn versus the Unity XR Toolkit, which is really lightweight and really easy to get going. You also get support to locomotions. You can also grab items. They have a lot of features available in there. And if you wanna know more about it, make sure that you look at the videos that I'm gonna be linking in the description. Also, the other thing that I also want to mention is if you want to support WebXR, there's also really cool tools available today, specifically for the MetaQuest Pro that you're gonna be able to develop. You can also use needle tools for WebXR, which is really cool. It allows you to basically embed this exporter into Unity that exports into 3GS and it gives you functionality for augmented reality and also virtual reality. In addition to needle tools, you can also use the 8Wall. They now support WebXR. Basically, you can do also VR development with their tools. And also, if you want to use the Moxilla Exporter, they also support the Oculus Quest 1 and Oculus Quest 2, and I'm sure it's also going to work with the Quest Pro. So that's everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you guys have any questions about any of the things that I mentioned today, also let me know if you're excited about the release about the Meta Quest Pro, because we're really excited about it, excited about the possibilities of this device and what use cases it's going to enable for us and also for the whole world. Thank you very much, guys.